Hi everybody, I'm Stephanie, the Crafty Medic, and I want to talk to you about taking photos for um, your website or your social media of your cards and your projects. This is something that I talk about a lot online. I actually used to be a professional photographer long before I was a paramedic and a nurse, and definitely long before I was a demonstrator. So it's something that comes second nature to me, but I wanted to share some of the tips that I've come up with over the years and some of the things I've learned um, to help all of you take better photos as well. Um, the setup that I'm going to be showing you today is with a light box and I'll post a link to where I got this one. Um, the trick with light boxes when you're getting one to take pictures of cards is you want to make sure that it's big enough. Um, this one I believe is 14 by 14 by 14 inches. Um, and then it just plugs into a USB. I've just got it plugged into the wall. Um, for the lights and it's kind of all in one all you need normally I just use my phone to take pictures um, and I just use it on my hands today because I don't want you to get seasick when you're looking at what I'm doing I'm just using my archon stand this is usually what I do um, for my top views when I do my videos but today I'm going to use it as basically a tripod to show you what my camera is seeing so I'm going to switch over to show you what my phone is actually seeing and uh, we'll be able to have a look at the card that I'm taking photos of today. All right, so this is just on my iPhone, the camera app. I've switched it over to the square view just to give a little bit um, less dependent on vertical horizontal. Um, and this is what I see in my light box. So you can see I've just got a white background on here. I did actually on the other side put just some um, vinyl shelf liner on there. So I actually usually use this as a background and it just uh, is a little bit more forgiving. This ends up getting little bits of dust on it and gets a little mix in it and stuff. Um, so I find that the patterns are a little bit more um, forgiving for that, but you do wanna make sure that it's something neutral that's gonna work with all of your projects. So as you can see, I've just got my card set up in there and we're fairly level. Um, I've actually raised the light box up so that um, I can get my camera kind of even with the card. And that's really important because what'll happen, and I'm gonna move my camera, so if you're really sensitive to um, motion, you know, make sure that you, you close your eyes for a moment. Um, what happens if you're not on kind of the same level with your card, see how this shape is distorted and the top is much wider than the bottom? We don't want that. You want your card to be nice and square in the frame. So I'm going to pop it down here again, and you can see that that card is much square in the frame. I'm actually going to zoom in, and you do this on an iPhone just by pinching, and I believe on Androids as well, and you can zoom in. And you can already see how it's a much nicer image when it's cropped like that. I do want to make sure that my card is positioned appropriately forward and back so that it's got enough light. Um, but no funny shadows. And this card is actually quite difficult because of these vellum wings on here. They cast sh funny shadows. So you'll see some of that today. So I can move it back. And then it's closer to the background. And we'll have a look at what that looks like. Whoops. So close that it falls over. So you can see down here, we've got these... Um, funny little shadows and that's just from the vellum wings if it were a flatter card that wouldn't be a problem but you can see kind of how the light changes and then as we move forward the light is going to be from more on top so that shadow has changed we've got harsher shadows on the embossing up here and this bottom part is actually quite dark compared to the top and that's just because of the angle of the light here is hitting way more to the top than it is to the bottom so i actually want to move it back even though we've got that funny shadow there um we're going to move it back and you can see the light is much more even on the card that shadow, unfortunately, there's not much we're going to be able to do with this card. But one of the things that I like to do, especially when I've got um, things that are casting shadows or um, foils and stuff, is I'll actually pick the card up. And then you can move it around a little bit. You might have to adjust your camera angle a little bit. And you can move it and you can see that shadow moving. But 
you might be able to get rid of it. With this card, I already know that that's not really going to be possible without moving my camera. And seeing as I'm not an octopus and I don't have a million arms, um, I'm not going to do that right this moment. So we're just going to ignore that shadow and work with this setup. All right. So we've got it kind of set up so it's nice and light. The background is very gray, though. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually, because there's so much white, it's actually underexposing everything. So everything is a little bit darker than it should be. So in order to get those whites, a nice, really bright white, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually focus. And I do that just by touching and holding. And you can see it's got that AAF lock. That's auto exposure, auto focus lock. And I get this little sun on the side. And what I can do is if I just go up, it'll brighten it up and that's just increasing the exposure. So I don't want to make it so bright that there's no details in the whites, but I don't also want to have it dar so dark that the whites are muddy. I want to kind of bring it in somewhere in the middle here where I still have detail in my whites, but they are a nice bright white. All right, so this is actually a pretty awesome photo. We could take this photo now, um, just pushing that button there watermark it and use it on our block. I am going to switch over um, and I'm going to show you just some different angles. So I'm going to move my stand up and this is where we're going to talk about that handheld angle that I love so much. Um, it's a great way to kind of show scale and texture and all those good things. I'm going to have to move everything a little bit here to get the angles right. Okay. So all I've done is I've moved my camera up a little bit. And what you'll see when we go back is compared to the view that we had before is we're a little bit higher. So we see more into the inside of the card, which can be a really good thing. Um, but again, that top is much bigger than, well, actually in this one, it's not super obvious, but the top is bigger than the bottom. But what we can do now is we can pick the card up and see where we were moving it around before. And I couldn't get it to be square in the frame. Now I can because the camera is just a little bit higher. I can get rid of that shadow down here and I can actually show some of the shine in the foil as well. And I'm going to do my focus again, brighten it up just a touch and then take a photo. So now I've got two photos, two different kind of pieces. And now if I wanted to take a detail photo, I can actually do that from here as well. And just pick up the card and I'm going to crop it in even more and I just want to show some of that detail on that wing. I'm going to be okay with blowing out some of the background because I just want to show the detail on the wing in this photo. There we go. Zoom out all the way again and we're back to where we were. Now, if you wanted to have a pure white background, you're going to need more lights. And I'm going to show you that in some other videos. Um, and I'm going to show you some different setups. This is just one way to skin the cat, so to speak. Um, and there's many, many different ways to do this. So um, I'll be posting some more videos. I also have a full day's training coming up on taking photos and videos. Um, so that's going to be on March, no, sorry, on April 17th. Um, and it's going to be all live via Facebook. So you can actually watch it there and participate in that. Um, we're going to be talking about taking photos indoors, taking photos outdoors, um, taking videos, how to actually go live, um, how to set up for videos, different types of setups you can use for photos and videos. And I'll be showing you a few different ways like this that um, you can actually take videos. So if you have any questions about that, um, don't hesitate to ask. I will post um, some links in the comments here, um, sharing the um, light box that I use. I also have a discount code for the Archon stand if that's something you're looking for. Um, if you use the coupon Crafty Medic, you'll actually get 20% off um, any of their products. And I'll post a link to register for um, the training in April as well. Have a great day. I hope you learned something. Happy stamping. Bye.